Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with The Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2 Episode Number 9 Reaction. Alright, the previous episode. We have reached uh, Kizuna's um, place, Kizuna's world. And uh, we had to go to Kizuna's country. And to do that, we need to go through like one of the towns. And need to get more supplies, this and that. Go to the Dragon Hourglass from where they can go and take a portal to Kizuna's place but the problem here was the the place that they were going to go to get to the um, drag uh, the dragon hourglass was the country which actually made Kizuna like you know imprisoned Kizuna in that dimension and Kyo is probably there as well so that was a problem but you know like uh, Nafumi with, with his newly learned um, special <laughs> techniques of tricking others <laughs> He did like an amazing business, uh, you know, like kind of a thing, like, you know, sell, sold a lot of potions, which were uh, good for spirits. And there was also another interesting thing in the previous episode. They kind of got let, to, let us know about a few different races. For example, I think the spirit that is the glass, like, you know, glasses race is the spirit, while Therese's um, race is the jewel people, you know, and, you know, normal humans, this and that, all that stuff. So... That was kind of interesting to know and uh, anyways um so yeah after getting enough uh things you know they got to the dragon hourglass but it was a trap we meet a guy what was his name kazuki which who is as annoying as the other guy kyo and like both of them are, are there at the same time and oh my god the, the in the end the thing that happened was really crazy you know raftalia's uh i don't know why that happened but suddenly like you know raftalia was supposed to go with them but the teleportation thing didn't work on her probably kyo did something i don't know what the hell he did and then how was that even possible but since you know like raftalia's probably since she's a demi-human it didn't work or something like that i'm guessing but anyways um yeah raftalia is now stuck over here while Nafumi and uh, Kizuna got forcefully teleported back to uh, uh, Kizuna's country. So I don't know what's going to happen, who's going to save Raftalia and we don't even know where Philo is. So this is a complete mess and Raftalia is also like you know low, low leveled. So yeah, let's see what happens in this episode. This is episode number 9. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three. Two, one, go. Oh boy. So what do we... Yeah, I was thinking, can they not go back? Is there like a cooldown or something? Oh lord. What? What type of... Oh no, here we go. Oh god. Like, how many years... I wonder how many years passed here. Tizum was trapped for a long time, wasn't she? Yes, but that's a really mouthful of that name is quite what the oh my god philo's here wait so i thought philo's going to be a little chick again but oh no is that oh my god Um, oh my god, what the hell? Ah, oh, this is infuriating me. What is happening? I'm, I'm not liking this. Like, they love to do this, don't they? Like, you know this show? Ah. Oh. I wonder where, um, uh, wait. 
So, Philo's level has also gone down, otherwise... But most probably, otherwise, how could someone capture her? She's so strong. Like, for Philo, I can see a lot of ways she can get out. One way is, like, she has a, the one a dragon fragment inside her, as far as I remember, you know, which kind of and goes crazy when Naofumi is... You know, like the whole rage shield gets activated. Maybe that's one way something could go wrong. And she is a philolial queen candidate. So I can, I can see her getting out of this situation. I don't know, maybe in some way or the other. But I don't know about Raftalia. Coming fairy. Mika Kage. Damn, everyone's just here. Um, can we go and help Raftalia? Um, Nafu is not happy. What? What's happening? Wait, why? What? Okay, I can understand that. No. Oh, is is it because of Here we go again. Yeah, he's like I've had enough. Oh my god. What? What? Yo, this guy has a portable. Uh, this is ethno world. <laughs> he has a portable. What do you call them? <laughs> He's levitating. Uh -huh. Who is this guy? Bolt. Ah. Boat? Is that, that is that supposed to be a boat? Who? Okay, who is this? Is this like a little pet? Yep, there you go. Chris, is that a penguin? What is that? Looks like a penguin. Oh, it's a Shikigami. Yep. Oh. Hmm. Um, yeah. Ah. Ah. Wait. Do, does he even have? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay. Wait. So he can take it out anytime. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Wait, so the Shikigami will be okay, okay. It will be both Naofumi and Raftalia's joint or whatever. Okay, just like glass and okay, makes sense. Kizuna made one. Hmm. 
<clears throat> Damn, what's happening? Is it a super rare? What is this, gacha? What? Oh, that's interesting. Shichigami shield? Oh, wait, is that a raccoon? <laughs> that's a raccoon, isn't it? <laughs> well, makes sense since Raftale is a raccoon. Ah, that's, that's a cute raccoon. I think it's a raccoon. Yeah! <laughs> That doesn't. Yeah, but her condition, we don't know. So this thing will take us to her. Okay. Yo, the way he's. <laughs> the way he's. <laughs> uh. So what about Philo? What? Wait. So. Whoa! Wait! <laughs> Yo! Descendant of Mo- Okay. Oh, kind of like, all right. Yo, <laughs> look at the rabbit. <laughs> yes, probably because he can't trust humans. <laughs> so, okay. Ah, okay. Understandable. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh, he's, he goes down. I wonder what that is. Oh, it, it, oh, that's a boat. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking. Ah, uh, it's an airship. Yeah. Why, why are you asking it like that? <laughs> the way he's asking is interrogating him. <laughs> Look at him. Okay. Ah! Wait, the same place? Oh. Why? Oh. So why is glass over there? Hmm. Ah. So maybe glass. I don't know. Warp the sheep. Oh, that's handy. Okay. Hmm. Okay, makes sense. So he doesn't fight, I'm guessing. All right. Oh my god. Okay, this 
Oh my god. Okay, this is going to trigger me so much. I cannot. What? Right. Oh, this is going to trigger me, I feel like. Damn, just automatic lights. <laughs> well, about that. later she doesn't know about the waves so yeah nothing you can do about what happened did she did she sense something someone's f no okay it's okay let him go where he wants to you probably tracked something Philo, is it Philo? Yes, Philo. Oh, thank God. Yep, she's level one. Oh my God. Okay, yo, just destroy everything. That's the only way. Come on. Oh no, the rage shield will prob the rage shield will probably get triggered. It's Philo. Come on. Oh my god, go quick! Quick, now for me! There you go. Well, now is gonna snap now. He is going to snap. He is going to snap anytime. Anytime. Up, here we go. Here we go. I don't think ah uh, Okay. Ho hopefully they're at the same place. Okay, there you go. It's true. All right. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like they just doing whatever the hell they want to. So. Okay. Okay, there you go. No, wait, come on. I'm sure Philo is here. The 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 seal. She was sealed using that. Is that Philo? There you go. That's Philo, isn't it? That's Philo. As we saw it, yeah. Okay, come on. Yes, yeah, probably some kind of. Yeah. Yeah, the talismans. They just put it on the cage, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe it has like a, a self-destruct. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh yes, come on. Okay. 
Thank God. Okay, let's get out. Let's get out. Okay, let's move. Yep, there they are. We're gonna beat you up. You... Well, whack him with the shield. Huh. There you go. That's what it deserves. <laughs> yeah, we don't care. His dad. So what? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering what. Ah, okay. Exactly, okay, okay. What? <laughs> well, thank God, at least we got one person back. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is it okay to walk around like this? <laughs> Rough time. <laughs> yeah, it's like Pokemon. <laughs> okay, what's happening now? Okay. Oh no. Yep, let's get out from here. What? It's like wanted posters? Oh, great. Go, sir. Wheeler of Katana. Kat Katana? Who's that? What is happening? What? Oh no, what's happening? No, but the sh Shikigami is here. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, the slave. Okay, okay. That is gone. Oh my god, again, wah! I just cannot, this is just...
Hmm. And anything else? Oh, there's still something. What? Wait, what is this place? The way they're talking. What? Whoa, what is this? Oh no. Okay, that's it. All right, so this was episode number nine, and thankfully we at least got one person back, you know. But the whole thing with Aftalia is still, yeah, it's still like a huge problem. Now, <clears throat> we begin the episode with Kizuna and, you know, like all of them being unable to go back because they cut off and did something and closed off the the hourglass dragon hourglass from that side i was just uh telling in the previous episode that can they just teleport back and i was like okay maybe it has a cooldown or something but they just shut it down from the other side like okay i guess <laughs> now <clears throat> we are here in uh mm, kizuna's uh what do we call the name kizuna's country uh, place and uh, <clears throat> yeah so what we need to do here like you know like uh, as it was that at that moment now for me was all already just preoccupied about thinking about raftalia philo and all that so he obviously he was not happy with how everything was going you know they need to like you know just wait and uh, kizuna said something about meeting someone you know and uh, that person will be able to help them out and now now for me knew that yeah this needed to be done but he was just like you know they cannot he couldn't wait because obviously like both of them are in like some random crazy situation and uh, now for me cannot do anything so he decided to wait and in the and, and on the next day we see how everybody is so happy that kizuna is here but then suddenly as they get to know that now is from another world another uh like an and it's like another hero their whole like you know demonor changes and at first i was like why are they acting like that and then i realized like yeah it's true like you know like these heroes are actually people who is going to like you know who is going to destroy the world and that's why they are so happy that kizuna is back but they're not happy that some other hero is here which would mean like, you know like obviously they would have the suspicion of oh he he's trying to destroy this world so it's, it's pretty understandable and um kizuna here does not know anything about the waves and all that's why he was she was so confused she was like wait what are you saying destroy the world he helped me out and uh not when we realized like uh oh, this, this cannot be like you know like this cannot go on i need to move forward and uh, he was going back and in comes the boat hero ethnobald now this guy or this like what, what was he bunny yeah a bunny, he's a rabbit <laughs> this person um he is a boat hero now kind of interest i guess it does make sense i was going to say that wait how can a rabbit be like a you know a, a hero but then I realized that even glass is like a different, you know, race. Glass, then Therese, like glass is a spirit, while Therese is a, like, you know, a jeweled person. So, like, you know, like a, a bunny being like a hero is not that surprising, I guess, if you think of it in that way. Um, 
So yeah, okay. So Ethnobalt, he is here, and he obviously he's very he's kind of friendly with everyone, and <laughs> I, I, it's kind of funny to see that as uh, they kind of bring this up later on as well that animals get attached to Nav <laughs> a lot. That's probably why Ethnobalt was so trusting to him. <laughs> And Nafum is also so much better with animals than with humans, obviously, like <laughs> because of what happened. Now, <clears throat> so Ethnobald gives um, Kizuna like a, a, a thing, like a, a talisman thing, with, in which um, Chris was there, which was uh, Kizuna's Shikigami, Kizuna and Glass's Shikigami. So I'm guessing just like how Nafumi later on makes um, Raf, Raf, I think that's what, yeah. That's what uh, Philo named her, didn't it? I think so. Anyways, just like how um, Nafu made a Shikigami, Glass and Kizuna made this Shikigami. So, I'm guessing whichever person, like, you know, uh, makes the Shikigami, the Shikigami will be able to track them because obviously they have part of their body, or part of their, like, you know, like, in, in the Shikigami. For example, I'm guessing, um, glass and um, Kizuna also probably put something like you know, probably their hair or like something else in in the, the thing to make this Shikigami Chris Just like how Raf Talia's hair was used and now Fumi's blood was used. So more, like, you know, Definitely they will be able to the Shikigami will be able to track their the humans so um what's his name um kizuna was like all right so to bring like you know to track uh her down raftalia down we need to make a shihigami from you know you and raftalia and uh, like thank god <laughs> nafumi had raftalia's hair and i i don't remember if they mentioned this before but i never knew that you can take these things out from the shield like, you know i, I thought like once you feed something to the shield it's it's all gone the shield eats it but I guess you can take it back out. That's interesting. I don't remember if they actually told that to us in the previous seasons. But either way, he brings out um, Raftalia's hair and puts a little of his own blood. Now, an interesting thing happens here, which I don't know if it has like a future, um, some kind of a hint. But when Raf uh, Nafumi puts the blood in with the tail, it kind of starts like a weird thing starts happening. Ethnobalt was like, wait, what is this? And he says nothing is manifesting faster than I imagined. To whom does this catalyst belong? So this is an interesting thing. I have no clue what the hell that means. What does that actually hint us like is like he says that it's manifesting a lot quicker so i'm guessing these things actually take time but it happened so quickly he was like what the hell like it was supposed to take two hours and it, it just took like five seconds something like that i'm guessing and he says that who does this belong to this catalyst now i don't know what this actually is like you know hinting at like is raftalia like a like some kind of a special you know like some kind of a special raccoon is it something like that or is it because of uh Nafumi and raftalia's bond that it this is happening i have no clue but this is i'm guessing this is probably this will probably become a future plot point or something either way you know um a little raccoon comes out <laughs> and <laughs> oh my god the raccoon and <laughs> everyone's like ah oh, that's so cute and uh, yeah obviously that since it's like you know, like it has raftalia's hair in it, it i guess it manifested as a raccoon <laughs> now either way um no you, i you know what I'm, I'm guessing it's because uh they used raftalia's hair probably because raftalia's hair was used as a base otherwise like 
you know, like it can track where Raftalia is and it's going to show us how Raftalia's condition is. You know, if something happens to Raftalia, probably something will happen to the raccoon as well. So I'm wondering if the same thing is going to happen to the raccoon if something happens to Nafumi. Because Nafumi's blood is also in there, isn't it? So I have no clue. But anyways, um, Raftalia, uh, or not Raftalia, sorry, this raccoon. Raf, I think that was her, her name. I think it's a she, isn't it? Most probably. I don't know. Anyways, um, so Raf. Uh, oh, everyone is like, okay, so since uh, this Shikigami is okay, it's in good condition, that means Aftali is also fine. Now, here we get to see Ethnobar's actual, um, actual, what do you call it, form. And uh, is, he's one of them, the, like, you know, beings which has protected this world. And here, uh, Nafumi got, like, you know, reminded of Fitoria. And just kind of like how Fitoria was the filial kin and was one of the protectors of that world. Similar to that, I'm guessing this is like this world's counterpart or whatever. And uh, this like Ethnobult. So. Yeah, and here it, the whole thing comes up of about animals trusting Nafumi a bit, like, you know, mo a bit more. And Ethnobult was also like, yeah, like, you're probably right. Like, and I also felt a lot at ease when I was in front of Nafumi. And I feel like it's okay to show him my true form. <laughs> Uh, like yeah like he <laughs> he's just so sick and tired of humans that <laughs> yeah don't don't blame him i can't blame him now a map comes up and they ask the respected shikigami where you know the, the person is and in, in chris's case it was glass and in uh rafa's case it was raftalia so both point at the same place now this is a weird thing number one um so one question comes up raftali is definitely like you know held captive what about glass is she like there on her own if she's there on her own if she's not held captive or something like that then i guess maybe glass will actually bump into raftalia but if glass is also captured somehow then that's a problem another problem you know like that that means that yeah nothing she can do about it but if she's not captured if she's there probably like you know in uh like you know, somewhere hiding or something maybe they'll bump into each other and something will happen either way they're at the same place so that kind of makes it a lot easier you know both um what's the name um both uh, kizuna and nafumi can go there okay the place uh, that they point towards is what was this the place's name okay just a sec rabel rabel they're allied with mikakage the ones that locked me in the infinite labyrinth okay so rabel and mikakage these these are i'm guessing the enemies yeah they're the ones who put them put her in the labyrinth and kazuki that genius mage from there too okay all right so all the like you know enemies are over there and all of the people who will have to confront so yeah now after that we get to know that since we cannot go to using the dragon uh, like you know uh, things uh our glasses um ethnobalt's boat is going to help us and his his boat has like a very handy thing where um okay what did he say? He said something about it warped the ship. Okay, so he can travel fast by riding along the connections between the dragon R glasses. Oh, so basically what he does is he rides a path. He doesn't need the R glass, he himself can ride the path. So that's better, I guess. And yeah, as Kizuna says, we don't have to register with the hourglass first. So all he does is just, he just jumps on the track <laughs> and goes on his own instead of going to the hourglass. So there's no problem and it's a better alternative. So <clears throat> yeah, now after that, we get a glimpse of Philo uh, being obviously captured by that guy and like, uh, like a, a talisman being put on her and her like, you know, being reverting into uh 
um, humming fairy. I think that's what they called her. So at first I really was like, okay, wait a minute, why does Fila look so different? <laughs> you know, when he be she became little. But I did not really like you know pay much attention to that because I thought, uh, yeah, maybe she looks like that or something. <laughs> but now I realize, okay, that was basically it was like a different species. And since there's no um, philolials here to protect the natural laws of this land or whatever, I don't know. That's probably why she got transformed into the closest, like you know, species that they can, they can be. That is the humming, humming fairy. I think that's what they called it. Now, now for me, um, Rishia and Kizuna are are in that town, and when they were going, now for me realizes like he gets like a sense, like you know, get a something gets kind of like you know like a sense, and obviously since Ra what's her name Philo is connected to her. Um, in through the crest, he found her and he just rushed there. And outside the oh my god, like outside the place where everything was happening, he saw that Philo is there. And everyone, like, you know, the people are just here trying to, like, you know, like everyone's telling like she's like some kind of celestial angel or whatever. And uh, yeah, this guy is just and mistreating her now. <clears throat> Rafta, uh, now for me, obviously, is very pissed off and rightfully so and uh, it was interesting to see that he can actually what can i say he can actually calm himself down now you know like i guess that's quite a good progress because before if this was before <laughs> he would have he would have burned this whole place down i feel like he would have that would, that's what he would have done he actually listened to kizuna at that moment when you know like she said, like, don't make a noise, like, here, don't, like, you know, make people more, um, like, you know, don't show, like, you know, like, don't, don't give out your identity. It'll be more problem in the longer run. So, be, like, you know, keep uh, patient for a little bit. We are going to go in at night and take her out. So, yeah. I'm, I was really surprised to see he actually listened. But I guess he also realized that if something happens here, like, you know, it would be a big problem because, you know, this is a different foreign country. Obviously, they are going to side with that guy, you know, like, and this has become a lot of a bigger mess. And now, uh, like, you know, now for me, their the levels are also very low. And if something goes wrong here, worse comes to worse, you know, like, um, Philo, he, he wouldn't get Philo back. And the whole thing with Raftali is also going to get delayed. So I'm guessing thinking about all of these um, things, Nafumi was like, yeah, I better keep quiet. Otherwise, it's going to be a bigger problem. And I'm glad, you know, he did not give in to his rage. And the rage shield was not activated. Now, I do wonder what would have happened if the rage shield activated at that moment. Because as I said, as soon as the rage shield activates, Philo's inner dragon thing also gets activated as far as I can remember and she also goes berserk so I'm guessing something like that would have happened and Philo herself would have become unstoppable at that moment so who knows either way um, at night they are ready to break Philo out of that like you know place and they go in try to find out why they are and there's like multiple animals here and there and here they come across Humming Fairy Chick. Okay, there we go. That's the name. So, Humming Fairy Chick, the bird monster that is said to be able to be sing. Now, obviously, Risha wasn't able to properly, you know, like realize that that's Philo. But since Nafumi has the connection with her, and since she he has been there with her from her childhood. He realized, like, he's like, oh, no, this is Philo. And as soon as he says that, Philo starts crying and everything. And I, I thought, like, you know, like, I thought that talisman was, like, a um, thing that was seeing her powers or something. Actually, no. It was just making her into the bird form. 
and uh, her level itself was very low from the beginning so it was not some kind of power sealer it was just a thing that actually reverted her to bar a bird a bird that is closer to a philo philolial okay so <clears throat> obviously Risha was like wait a minute this is not a philolial like what are you saying and uh, Nafum is like nah I, I, I know I know trust me this is this is philo and uh, he like you know asks Rish, uh, not Rishia, sorry, um, Kizuna to do something about the, the talisman and uh, Nafumi, I, I don't know what happened here, like I guess Nafumi was the one who deactivated Okay, he put them on the cage too to keep her monster crest from working Okay Nafumi asks, can you open the cage? I can, but I don't know what will happen if we destroy the talismans. If I can use the monster crest. Okay, so Nafumi does something here and deactivates the, the thing on Philo and activates the monster crest. And after that is when uh, Kizuna flashes open the cage. Just to be safe, you know, in case the whole thing blows up or something like you know like as a security measure or something maybe those talismans would blow up so that's why they took this like you know precaution now um philo is out and uh, you know obviously like you know it's crying and everything and uh, yeah that was that was like a nice scene like you know they got reunited but in comes this guy and he's like yeah i'm going to teach you a lesson haha <laughs> you know <laughs> Typical villain, and Nafumi uses the the one. What was the name of that shield? The one with the the one which also took glasses mana. You know that that one. I think I forgot the name of the shield or whatever. That shield. He he uses that shield, and oh boy, <laughs> it it casted like a hypnosis spell or whatever genjutsu on the guy. And yeah, he, he now he's the one who's stuck inside a cage. Uh, obviously, that was temporary, but yeah, either way. Now, okay, now they're outside the camping, and here's where Rishia asks that how were you able to realize? You know, like that's like a humming fairy uh, bird chick. So, you know, like, and why did uh, Philo got transformed into that? And uh, there you go, that's where they explain it because Nafumi says that since there's no philolials existing here. And it does make so much sense because you know there's like a thing about the rules and the laws of the place. And um, you know since philo is a uh, philolial which doesn't even exist in this world probably to I don't know maintain the balance of the world or whatever. You know, when that thing was used she transformed into a thing closer to philolial species that is like a humming fairy bird now i i do wonder now now philo's level one now so i'm sure she, she'll level up little by little i do wonder like you know in in the in the nafumi's world she used to transform into her philolial form and used to like, you know fight so what's going to happen here is she going to transform into her humming very form and then fight is that what's going to happen because philolials doesn't exist here <laughs> i don't know and he also explains how like you know since she's the philolial queen candidate her you know like her human form was still fine and the, the problem was only when she tried to transform and like you know, she transformed it, it took her to like a to the like to the humming fairy thing now they talk about what happened to that guy you know that guy got became crazy and he was like some kind of a rich person you know like his father found the philo philo and you know just from kyo uh, yeah kyo like you know gave philo to them and that's what happened here yeah. and uh yeah that was that now 
one thing happens here after this is where Filo asks now for me like will you be with me forever and again the whole thing comes back that whole question of what's going to happen after the waves stop is now for me going to go back but now for me does say here that yeah i will be with you guys forever with you and raftalia so i wonder if like you know like i i guess that that in, in the previous not the previous season was it the previous season yeah i think so he did say by the end that yeah like you know i won't leave unless and until i see you do being happy you know like until and unless i see your happiness both of your happiness i'm not going to leave here like he he said that and uh like you know like i feel like nafumi probably realized here that just like he said that unless and until, and until they're happy he won't leave i think he probably realized that their happiness raftalia and philo's happiness is actually him so it's kind of like a paradoxical situation you know like he's saying that he won't leave until they're happy but at the same time their happiness lies with him <laughs> in the end he cannot leave that means and uh, like you know like like if the, if he leaves they'll stop being happy so you know like they went to that little flashback where we see Victoria and now for me thinks about that like you know part where he was she was you know crying because the shield the previous shield hero you know left and he probably thought like that's what's also going to happen to Ilo and Raftali as well if I leave so maybe his actual motivations are changing as well maybe by the end of it he'll actually be here forever so either way um next day they are like you know off outside and here i feel like this is the first time the whole thing registered in philo's head that there's a little raccoon here who looks like <laughs> talia and she's like no why are you here this is my master <laughs> and then she talks about how it looks like Raftalia and you know like Nafum says like yeah it is Raftalia and my blood you know Raftalia's head and hair and my blood mixed Hilo names her Raf Rafchan I think that's what he names her <laughs> so right now they come across some wanted posters obviously one was about Philo and all of them because that whole thing came out into light and this really shows us how you know like the whole decision was so much better that Ra Nafumi took that not to make a commotion at that moment like if they made a commotion at that moment it would have it been a difficult situation and maybe they wouldn't have gotten Philo back either so thankfully he did not do anything he did not give in to his rage and actually waited for the night time and went in there sneakily got Philo out thank god for that so yeah and they're like want posters and everything and something happens here raftalia's um status goes away now that means that something happened to the slave crest crest i don't know what happened to the slave crest crest but now raftalia is fine you know like the raccoon is fine that means raftalia is fine but something happened to the slave crest the connection is gone so and yeah here we go again i think this is the second time this whole bull crap again happens of raftalia's like you know like the connection getting cut off once it happened in season one with motoyasu and now here again like oh my god but thank god we actually have rafchan the, the little shikigan like you know she or he i don't know if that's a she or he can track raftalia down at least so yeah now one thing okay left uh, okay um now the after credit scenes something we can see that happened here is they're in a very cold place raftel has been taken alone somewhere these people they look like ancient people from japan you know the way they talk and everything they look like yeah they like you know the way they talk it's like feudal japan like even even the 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 big castle that we saw in the end 
So what is this place? That's interesting. You know, even even their attire, you know, the, the big the big armor, their eyebrows and everything. That's feudal Japan completely. So interesting. I'm I'm sure we'll get to know in the next episode what where is Raftalia, and hopefully we get her back quick enough because I I don't like you know otherwise I'll get triggered. <laughs> I was almost getting triggered here in this episode as well. The whole thing with Philo, but thankfully they, like you know, they they were able to get her back very quickly. So I'm like, okay, thank God. So yeah, I I really hope that the same thing happens with Australia as well. Like we go in and take her out quickly. Like if they actually drag this through with like you know two or three episodes, I'll go crazy. <laughs> Anyways, um, and another thing maybe we'll meet Glass here as well because, as we know, Glass is also there somewhere. Maybe Raftal is going to bump into glass or something. We'll see. But so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. This is my reaction to uh, The Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2, Episode Number 9. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of The Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.